Yeah. Yeah. And in fact, you know, most of the Chinese can, a company want to go to China. I have, if I want to give them a short course, a crash course about what to do, what to look for before they do that. I also said, I told them that, hey, I have a five, you know, step, you know, synonym that you can actually, you know, focus on before okay. you go to China. And uh, I call them the China strategy, the C-H-I-N-A China strategy. And, okay. and then that each, each letter stands for a word that I use them to, to help them guide them yeah. to focus on the you know, fundamental importance of what you need to do before you actually well, attack the, the, the market properly. So I, I always, if they only have about an hour or two's time, I will always tell them, that, hey, follow my formula, at least you get a very high level understanding. Mm-hmm. Or you can buy my book and read the book, you know, which takes another, another, you know, maybe two hours three, two, three hours three, you can finish the book quickly. Right. So I think it's important to, Understand and uh, and seek to understand the, uh, the the nuances and the and the differences between before you do, because otherwise you'll be just like Best Buy and then you know and just they'll just die, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know if you want to share a little bit. I know you're not going to go through the whole thing. So I I actually it's my first time. So the acronym is China Strategy, right? So it's, it's, no, the, the, so, so you know you know what I learned, you know, uh, Steve, I, I, you probably feel the same way in, in North America. You know, people are very have no time, right? They don't even think about. It. So, it's, it's, we want to make it as simple as possible. So I say, you know what? The whole strategy is just five letters: China. China. So it's easy to remember. C H I N A. Let me just go through that quickly for you, so that you can actually yeah, yeah, please and share with the audience. So, so why China, right? So the first letter C stands for culture. Mm-hmm. So, so which is you know what we said before earlier. I say, hey, you know what we said. If you want to do business in China, you must understand Chinese culture. Right. Now, you don't need to learn the language. Of course, if you can speak some language, it'll be better. But you don't. You don't need to be by by. You don't need to speak the Mandarin fluently or read and write no, Chinese course, fluently. Right. No, no, it's, of course it's not. It's a tough language to learn. <laughs> right. But you must understand Chinese five thousand years of culture. So right. culture is the number one, you know, uh, you know, keyword, you know, that I that I told them. You have to understand the culture, which is my book for the first half. Of the book is the history and culture, right? right? Right, right. So I think that is important, you know, to to focus on, and then you know, and then the, uh, the in, in, in fact, the H is the history, right? So the culture and history, right? So so go they go hands in hand about you know uh, you know uh, about so that go first understand the history and culture of China first. If you want to understand this is this is with Chinese consumers, then you want to understand Chinese consumerism's culture and history, right? Right, you know, and and if you want to understand all the other stuff, same thing, right? So, right. so you can learn that, you know, a little bit. I'm not asking to be a, to be history major. <laughs> but, no, no, but I I get I get your point because uh, the China, you know, the history in China is is such a long history. You know, we have hundreds of years of dynasty, and the the politics is heavily influenced by that, and you know, by the communist regime. You know, the, when Mao, Mao Zedong came in, and so there's a lot of thing that comes into play that affects how the consumer thinks nowadays, how they perceive things uh, nowadays, and even the traditions, right? So a lot of like the colors, uh, the number fours, and all the all these little things uh, yep. that brands need to think about when they are advertising or when they're communicating, you know, their brand message in China. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's, a, that's a very good, good, good point. And that's why I want to talk, I want to talk about the, let's say for like Best Buy, when it went to China, I don't know who advised them, you know, but uh, they have a terrible Chinese name uh, for Best Buy. And, and the Chinese name was so bad that they negate the cultural nuances and history. Right. Right. And uh, I don't know if you know the name, but you know the the, the Best Buy Chinese name uh, is really literally means Bai Shi Mai, which means you know which literally means which is the Best Buy you know translation in the yeah. uh, sound. Yeah. It's a terrible name because it means in Chinese means you have to think a hundred times before you buy. <laughs> bai Shi Mai. I mean Bai Shi Mai. You know. I thought, what, yeah. I thought really. I said this is the, the worst name I've ever seen. You know, I've right, heard, and right? it's not even like uh, you know because I we both understand it's hard for maybe a foreign, but it's hard for us to say that. <laughs> even, yeah, it's not it's not easy to remember. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's hard to remember. It sounds terrible, and, and it it's means, like what kind of a what, what do you want to? Go? So yes. it's actually actually you know it's, it's almost like the, the name is is doomed. 
to fail, right? I mean, yeah. people say, oh, buy, buy shoe, buy. I'm not going there to just to think about things. I want to buy, you know? Right, right, right. So, for sure. so, so without a, a good cultural understanding and, uh, and, 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 and you can really get it wrong from the, from the wrong foot. So I think it's important to understand cultural history, right? About the first two characters, right? Yeah. C so and C H, H, right? Yeah. 